is an Eyewitness News webcast. Hi, I'm Morgan Parrish. Here's your Eyewitness News webcast on this Sunday morning. Let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Kevin Dirt. He has the details. Good morning, Morgan. Had a little bit of light snow last night, so some folks could have even gotten two inches of snow. Most of it was just a covering. Just be careful on the roads because you might see some slick spots as you get up in those higher elevations. Rest of the day, not looking too bad. We're going to be seeing gradual clearing as we go through the afternoon hours. Not as cold as yesterday. We'll be in the upper 20s to low 30s with low winds, so it's going to be pretty comfortable. Overnight tonight, now it's going to get cold, 14 for a low with partly cloudy skies. And looking out over the next seven days, got a pretty nice stretch ahead of us. Monday, mostly sunny skies, 34 for a high. Tuesday, we're a couple clicks warmer, up in the mid 30s with partly sunny skies. Wednesday, there's a weak cold front that's going to come through, and that could kick off a couple of snow showers around the area. So just be aware of that. 38 for a high on Wednesday, Thursday. We're going to be back into well, a mix of sun and clouds, but a little cooler, 30 degrees for Thursday. And then Friday and Saturday, we're watching systems come into our area once again. Now, right now, it looks like maybe a mix of snow showers on Friday, and then a mix of snow showers on Saturday. But there is a pool of really cold air that's waiting to come down out of Canada, Morgan. So we've got to watch that for the end of the week. But for today, not looking too bad. Thanks, Kevin. Hundreds of people embraced the cold for a first ever winter wonderland of events in Schuylkill County. The inaugural Pottsville Winter Fest kicked off yesterday in conjunction with the Greater Pottsville Winter Carnival. The crowd enjoyed local crafts, food, and beverages, and even a make your own snowman contest. It gave everyone a chance to get outdoors and help beat the winter blues. It's like a uh, big block party just here in the winter with a lot of different amenities. About 1,500 people gathered in the heart of Schuylkill County to enjoy Winterfest. Organizers hope to make this an annual event. The Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders are still three months from starting another baseball season, but they're already trying to field a team of seasonal workers. The Rail Riders hosted a job fair yesterday at PNC Field. They're looking for a variety of game day employees, from grounds crew, ushers, and parking attendants to bat boys and girls, pinstripe patrol, promotions crew, and team mascot performers. The job fair gives applicants a chance to land a position for 70 home games and additional events. There is no shortage of cold for the return of Northeastern Pennsylvania's favorite winter foot race series. Hundreds of runners bundled up yesterday for the annual Shiver by the River in Scranton. The annual race has been going on for nearly a decade, and this year it served a dual purpose. Well, um, initially I had signed up already, but when I found out it was a, a fundraiser for the proceeds for a local uh, businessman, a community uh, member, I thought it was amazing. I thought it was great, and the turnout was amazing. This year's race is a fundraiser for local community member Brian Craig, barber at Loyalty Barbershop and Shave Parlor of Scranton. He's currently facing hefty medical expenses. That does it for this Eyewitness News webcast. Have a good day.